In colligative properties, membranes are the barrier that separates two solutions, one at higher concentration and another one at lower concentration. Higher concentration means it has more amount of solute and lower concentration means it has less amount of solute. Let me write the definition of it. Membranes are the barrier that separates that separates two solutions two solutions at different concentrations at different concentrations so this is just a barrier that separates two liquid two solutions one at higher concentration and another one at lower concentration now if we compare colligative property with thermodynamics then this membrane is like the boundary of the system the boundary separates system and surrounding and here membrane separates two solutions there are three types of membranes the first one is permeable membrane permeable membrane second one is non-permeable membrane non-permeable membrane and finally the third one is semi-permeable membrane here this permeable word comes from permission so permeable membrane will allow everything to pass through it non-permeable membrane will allow nothing to pass through it and the semi-permeable membrane will allow some things to pass through it and another thing not right if we compare it with thermodynamics then what can we get in thermodynamics we consider a system this is the system and there is the surrounding and if we uh, increase the temperature of the system then there are three possibilities the system can exchange either energy or matter with the surrounding or it can exchange both or it can exchange nothing right in open system in open system case the system can exchange both energy and matter with the surrounding that is like permeable membrane in closed system the uh, system can only only exchange energy but not the matter that is like semi permeable membrane case but in case of isolated system the system can neither exchange energy nor matter with the surrounding that is like the case of non permeable membrane so it is like uh, permeable membrane is like open system open system in thermodynamics it is not actually this okay i am just trying to relate colligative property and thermodynamics and non permeable membrane means isolated system isolated system and semi permeable membrane means closed system closed system now permeable membrane will allow only solvent sorry it will allow both solvent and solute to pass through it as we are talking about colligative property that means solvent and solute then we need to talk about the flow of these two right in permeable membrane through the permeable membrane solvent as well as solute can pass through it uh, if we take non-permeable membrane then nothing can pass through it okay it will just block them and semi-permeable membrane will allow solvent to pass through it solvent to pass through it but solute will not be able to pass through it now if we consider in general case suppose we have a mixture sand and water mixture we actually consider homogeneous mixture over here yes, but uh, for the example to understand let's consider a heterogeneous mixture there is sand water mixture now if we take a net like this and if we pour this on that net then what will happen everything will pass through that that is like permeable membrane but if we take a simple normal cloth and if we pour that mixture over it then what will happen the sand will get deposited on top only water molecules will pass through it that is like semi permeable membrane and finally if we take a polythene and if we pour it then what will happen nothing will pass through it the sand as well as water will get blocked that is like non permeable membrane this these are the types of membrane there is another way to classify membrane as well they are natural membrane let me write it over here they are natural membrane and synthetic membrane 
synthetic membrane natural membranes are uh, let me write some example they are uh, goat bladder goat bladder pig bladder pig bladder similarly cellophane cellophane parchment paper parchment paper etc but if we talk about synthetic membrane then there are uh, two very commonly used synthetic membrane they are calcium phosphate calcium phosphate and copper ferrocyanide copper ferrocyanide and among them also copper ferrocyanide is frequently used in laboratories as well so this is all about membrane and its type